Hi guys, um, it's me again. Um, I'm here to show you today unboxing of the Sony Tablet S. Now, this was released yesterday because it's already 131 here. Um, it was released yesterday um, in the UK and PC World and Curry's in Tottenham Court Road, London had a special deal which you can see here. And basically the deal was the first 100 customers to purchase a Sony Tablet S will receive a free 32 inch Sony Smart TV. Now I was number 70 out of that 100 and I waited for roughly about 12 to 13 hours with my girlfriend. Um, it was cold, it was a little bit wet, but it was worth it. And just so that you see which TV we actually got got the iPhone here so it should be a much better camera that's the actual model number there we go and it's actually a pretty decent um, TV sorry for the shaky cam that is a 32 inch TV um, <coughs> yep so I thought I'd just quickly show you that and that was completely free of charge. It's worth about £500 on Amazon. But enough of the TV. You guys are here to see that bad boy. Now I've got two here. And there we go. There's the box. So, as you can see, it is PlayStation certified. And you know what that means. Good old PlayStation 1. And PSP games. I think maybe even PlayStation 2. I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is the 16 gig version. Wi-Fi. And that's what it looks like on that side of the box. Right there is... There you go. 16 gig. Nothing really on that side. Um, S tablet device. And nothing really there. Let's open her up. Okay, you've got getting started. And it just shows you a little diagram of the actual tablet and then says um, turn on for three seconds or push to turn on for three seconds. And there's the actual tablet. We'll come to that in a second, so let's just put that bad boy to one side. Over here. <clears throat> okay, you get a quick start guide. Support websites. In the box, you get an AC adapter, power cord mains lead, strap, that's the lanyard, put around your neck or your hand, I'm guessing. Quick start guide, which is this document. And important information. Charging the battery, uh, blah blah blah. There's that icon which was also there. It's just saying, you know, this is how you turn it on. Um, assessing the help guide. Uh, let's see what else. Setting up Wi Fi, preparations before connecting Wi Fi, when a Wi Fi connection problem occurs. Yeah. So that's Sony's version of a quick start guide. To one side. <coughs> and again, we've got that. Seems like um, a lot of people who buy Sony's have an issue of actually trying to find the power button. Because that's on every document. Again, telling you okay, that's where the power button is. Swipe. I suppose this is pretty much a quick start guide for Android because it just shows you all your home screens and what sorry, what all of that does. Anywho. That opens up like that. Some more documentation. What's this? European guarantee document. Important information. Anything in there? Nope. Disposal of waste batteries. Blah blah blah. A new 
is a demon. So there's your charger. I'm a little bit shocked that all these tablets are not using micro um, micro USB. They're all using their own little connectors. Um, and Sony have done the same as everyone else and use their own propriety sort of connector, which is this long one. Now, I've actually heard that it doesn't make the device charge quicker like the Samsung Tab 10.1. Um, which, if that's true, that's a bit disappointing. You've got your power lead, that's just a 8, figure 8, and that's your lanyard, which is just got Sony on there. Yeah, it's nice to see the small things in life. And that's it, that's all that's inside the box. So, let's get over. To this, this is what everyone wants to see. This is going to be um, a fingerprint magnet. I can tell that already. Plastic. Hmm. Four hundred pounds. Is it really worth it? Let's find out. Now I wonder where that power button is. Ah, uh, yes. There it is. Hold it down for three seconds. Now oh, that was quick. Shouldn't be that quick. That's English. Ba ba ba. So up later. I will do a review on this later on. So look out for that. Let's just quickly just start her up. fingerprints have already begun so that's I must say straight off the mark the contrast is absolutely gorgeous the screen is very very good um, that's a nice bright screen just quickly go into settings I do want to see what Okay, that's not even the full. That's full brightness. This is running 3.1. So, can't complain. 3.1. Um, the ladies staff from Sony did say that there will be an update for this um, in the next few days. So, we'll see. I just want to quickly go and see, because the screen is absolutely gorgeous, so I need to see whether or not they've got some pictures preloaded on here, gallery. <clears throat> mm, there isn't anything preloaded, that's a shame. Okay, let's check out some wallpapers. Only one wallpaper. Sony, you've disappointed me. But I must say, it's very fast. Quickly, I'll just show you um, hardware. So, up top, you've got the VGA camera. I think it's 1.3, I'm not entirely sure. I have to look that up. Um, headphone jack inside this little cheeky little hole which is not easy to get to you've got I, think, I believe that's a micro USB and a full size SD card so you can actually put a full size SD card in there hmm that's handy that's not even rubber that's just cheap plastic that won't even go in hmm Speaker. There you got a speaker, that's where you put your lanyard. There's that Sony. Um, I think that's like to tell you that it's officially a Sony PlayStation device. 
uh, model number again Sony you've got some rubber feet and right here and here I don't know if you can see it right there just plastic feet this side there's that elusive power button uh, you got your volume up and down down and up reset I'm guessing that's some sort of mic maybe or an LED indicator looks like a microphone and there's the other speaker sorry so that looks like a mic reset and that looks like the other speaker and then that's obviously where you charge it um, this thing has started to get fingerprints all over it already um, infrared port is somewhere around here um, as you probably know you can control not only Sony devices that's Sony TVs, LG TVs, Samsung TVs etc um, you can control any of those devices with, with this um, this will actually learn the infrared frequency and you can use it as a universal remote um, I'm not impressed of them first it's a bit plasticky you know let me just quickly show you the zoom which is I mean it's what you certainly want to go against iPad zoom Samsung's tab huh Thickness wise, I mean, let me put it to the flat surface. Obviously, I mean, you don't need to be a genius to figure out that Sony is going to be thicker because it's got that sort of teardrop, or what they like to call um, a folded magazine, which it kind of is. Um, size wise, it is slightly, I mean, well, not really slightly. It is bigger than the Motorola. Actually, not not that bad. Not that bad at all. Um, the Motorola is longer, but they're both magnets for fingerprints. Absolute magnets. But I will do a review on this, and um, we'll see how she goes. But so far. Screen is fantastic, a little bit too much plastic. It really feels like I'm using a Samsung sort of device. Um, and for £400, that is not, um, it's not really worth it. I mean, I got the Motorola for 270 from Costco. Um, but yeah, I will review it. The screen is fantastic. It's probably on par with the Asus Transformer. Um, but yeah, check back for that review, It'll come in the next day, maybe two, because I am really tired from that wait of 13 hours to get this. Um, again, thanks very much for watching, if you've got any comments, drop them below. Cheers.